and welcome everybody here in Twitch Chance and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some mono black value as our very first Throne of Eldraine standard deck. That's right, Throne of Eldraine is live on Arena. We have rotation, no more Nexus of Fate ever again here in standard. It's a new day, new format. We're going to play a lot of fun decks, as you can see over here on the left hand side these are going to be our seven decks that we're going to be trying to get to today in our 12 hour stream we did a pack opening where we opened up 175 packs and so uh now uh that was a lot of fun but now let's get to the games uh we're going to go ahead and play some rank today let's just play some mythic with brand new decks uh these decks of course won't be exactly perfect with them being uh day one decks but you know we'll be able to make any changes between games that we feel like that we need to make um but yeah our our first deck here again mono black value the reason why i'm calling this mono black value is because we have all of our cre like we have tons of creatures that are basically two for ones um you know between burglar rat urox fen lurker those are both two for ones that um that you, whenever they enter your opponent discards a card or you know exiles a card so, you know like we're trying to attack their hand here trying to reduce their resources and then in the meantime while we reduce their resources we're trying to increase our own we have cards like midnight reaper and then a yara that can draw us cards also dread presence can draw us cards also so we're we're trying to get rid of their resources increase our resources and grind our opponents out uh or i'm playing orzov enforcer here instead of knight of the ebon legion because i want um a creature you know may end up being wrong because the Evan legion is really powerful as we know but this is a card that can just trade uh because of the death touch can just trade with anything but then also works really well with a yara that can sacrifice it as well because then it puts another creature into play or play crafter you don't mind sacrificing it because you get another creature so i i like it there that you know it can trade but it's also another good creature to sacrifice um also again cavalier of night sacrificing it as well um we got some rankles that i think are going to be awesome here because you know rankle again is another way to to attack our opponent's hand make our opponent discard some cards um and then the each player sacrifices a creature is probably going to be awesome here because you know we have we have creatures over here that we don't mind sacrificing with our 11 two drops don't mind sacrificing those at all um so yeah really like rankle and then dread presence can help get us our life back and kill things or of course draw cards whenever we play swamps there's a lot of cool stuff in this deck. So let's give it a try. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to have two Command the Dread Horde or maybe one Command and one Liliana with six mana Liliana letting us draw cards each time these creatures die. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, command, you know, like we do have the combo kill with like Command with a whole bunch of creatures and a Yara um, because whenever this end, you know each opponent loses a life and you gain a life for each black creature that enters you know maybe we can put like five or six creatures into play and then automatically go minus five or six life we never know um no i don't think blight beetle is um really worth a card like i, I don't think it, it trades with the card too often i don't think it's a it's a good a powerful enough card for the sideboard um which is vengeance is like for the elementals or knights mostly for elementals um i'm not i'm not in love with masker girl but works kind of well with having a bunch of one one toughness creatures over here and i got an extra command again maybe one of these three are supposed to be a liliana somewhere um but yeah let's let's give this deck a try let's see how it does my collection's kind of messed up right now but that's all right all right, traditional, standard, ranked, mono black value. Ooh, we gotta change our avatar. We got Garrick now. Yeah. My axe is ready, pal. Here we go. Garrick's axe is ready. Let's get going. <clears throat> All right, Garrick's axe, axe is ready. First game. All right, starting off strong. We could use another land or two. 
But I like having Fen Lurker into a Yara. So looking nice. I probably should have done a, a I should probably should have reset arena after the long pack opening and everything, but oh well. Alright, it's so where they exile island. So we're basically telling our opponent Mulligan to five. You know, like they start with their seven card hand. And then uh, we're saying exile two of them. So it's basically like telling them to start on a mold of five. We are aware, aware of the current issues and are working on a solution. What are the current issues? I'm not aware of the current issues. <laughs> I'm glad they're aware. I'm not aware. You have to have three or more other swamps. So much for this witch's cottage being free. I already hate this card. I want to play a Yara. I kind of feel like my opponent's playing Simic Flash, which honestly isn't isn't great for us. If I had to pick like something to play against, I wouldn't really pick. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't really pick Simic Flash because we're just all sorcery speed over here. Oh, I didn't. I didn't grab the fox. Should have grabbed the fox. Okay, Ayara's in. Can be good. They're down to just one card over there. One is not very many cards. Yeah, I guess Blight Beetle. You know, if people are playing like Wildborn Preserver, Cutthroat, I guess Blight Beetle. Because it says that, like, the is it just green? It's just any creature can't have counters on it, correct? Maybe I'm underrating this Blight Beetle in this this new format. Creatures your opponent control can't have 1-1 one -one counters put on them. Yeah, maybe I am. That castle's really nice, letting them scry too. We get to draw two cards when we sacrifice our creature here. I want to be able to block for Old Mystic and then sacrifice draw two, even though if I would just do it during my main phase, I likely hit a land drop, which land drops are valuable. But even though they get a lot of card selection thanks to the castle... Hopefully we can outgrind them. By getting three cards a turn. I was kind of hoping they were going to counter that. Okay.
Hey, there you go, Wanderer. That's pretty good. All right, let's draw two. Hmm. Ooh, Dread Presence is in there. Oh, opponent's in some trouble. Dude, this is sweet. This is sweet. This is pretty awesome. Yeah, we got Garrick as our avatar. <laughs> sure, they get the they get to scry to every turn, but they're only getting one card a turn. I'm getting millions of cards a turn, and by millions I mean three. Okay. It, it shouldn't anymore. I I think I changed the YouTube title as far as I know. I'll go check. Yeah, no, it says 175. Okay, the mastery system is down. All right, so I want the duress for sure. And I guess Noxious Grasp? Yeah, we want Noxious Grasp. Do I want, like, the Legion's End also? I don't want Blood for Bones. We're going to trim a command, the Dread Horde. Hmm. All these cards are pretty good. I guess we could probably take out Play Crafter. Maybe that's what we do. Because I am going to want, like, Cavalier of Night. I, I need a ways to kill the wolf. Like, the wolf is, is scary. Maybe I should play Massacre Girl. I mean, I'll play one Massacre Girl over a Cavalier of Night. And then I think I'm going to just trim a... In, in, Trim a rat and an enforcer. I'm going to play one more Legion's End and cut this Midnight Reaper also. Okay. Oh, is... Y'all let me know. I guess I just got to the rope part with the sideboarding. Y'all let me know if the rope bug is still happening. The sound bug. Or not. Quench. Cool. Sound seems fine. Yeah, I'm I'm trying to listen for it too and I don't I don't hear anything either. Burglarette. Got rid of a green thing. Um. So I'm willing to go wrinkle here because, like, we have the witch's cottage to put the wrinkle back on top next turn.
That must be a, a stream deck problem why it's only 59 cards. I don't know why. Um, there's supposed to be another land in the deck. So it's supposed to be six swamps. I don't know, like, did Stream Decker just, like, change, like, some of these these land numbers or something? It's like, that's n not the first deck for that to happen. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be 24 lands. I don't know. Maybe it's not. I'll have to take a look at it. I don't, I don't know why it's just 59. I was kind of planning on playing Masker Girl, but now we'll just go. All right, so Duress. Get rid of this Veil of Summer. All right, Witch's Cottage is pretty cool. This is pretty awesome. Yeah. See, just all this hand disruption just, just helps. Because, yeah, Rankle is just going to finish them off. They're just going to have to discard the rest of their cards, sacrifice this Cutthroat. They're just, they're just done for. All right, one game in. At first, I was a little concerned about, about that matchup. But honestly, maybe not. Maybe not. Even if they had, like, green mana, you know, like, they only had three lands and they had four drops in hand. Oh, Deckmaster. I don't have Deckmaster up. I never put Deckmaster up. I just never, I never started it. Forgot to do that. Eldrain is online. All right, so let me know if Deckmaster is working now. Now it should be. You may, you may need to refresh your stream. Give it a try. Let me, I mean, it, as far as it says, it says everything's working, so. What? What just happened? It says I I won I won the game. I well, free rank, I guess. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna count that over here. Huh. Yeah, I guess Stream Decker just doesn't have links for you to... You can't... Um... You can't... Uh... I go first where I need at least one land just to... I need two lands. I think this is a mulligan. You can't copy-paste from Arena right now. Or you can't put copy face from Stream Decker. So you just have to manually do the list yourself. All right, yeah, we're facing Reed. Soul tie. Yeah, these are the mastery sleeves. These are the mastery pass sleeves. Hmm. I kind of want to Legion's End this Paradise Druid. Three different colors of mana over here. 
There's already a Paradise Druid that was discarded, but then, of course, I also want to get a Yara going as well. I guess I just get a Yara going. Hey, Calculus. You're welcome. Thanks for watching all the YouTube content. No blocks. Ow. Aw, <laughs> oh, thanks, Calculus. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. No. Ayara! Ayara, no! I guess I should have Legion's End of the Paradise Druid. Where's our lands at? Um, I guess the Mastery Pass system is down for just a little bit. I bought it like two hours ago, and I guess it was working then, but it's not working anymore. It should be back up, you know, anytime. Who knows? Gotcha. So Deckmaster doesn't have the, the brand new basic swamps yet. about me is absolute nonsense and absolutely true oh dear I just can't draw lands. Can't draw lands. That really, really hurt the Voracious Hydra on the uh, Yara. I needed a Yara in play. We were going to draw so many cards, as we saw against the Simic Flash opponent. Needed that Yara. I hate Oko already. I know, right? Hey, Rankler. Gaze into my face and put on your true shape. That hurts. So we mulligan into this game, and we had four lands in our opener, and I put a land to the bottom. Well, 
Welcome this is a time where, you know, if we had Midnight Rider, I'd be able to kill the Ceratops and go down to two, where Playcrafter is just going to be Sack Oko. And then we take Lethal from Ceratops. All right, so Noxious Grasps. Finality's kind of rough. Hmm. We have to do a better job hitting land drops. That's for sure. Oko already looked pretty good there, turning my Midnight Reaper into an elk, so I didn't get to draw cards with Midnight Reaper. That hurt. I think I want to command the Dreadhorde still. Not sure what I want to cut here. I do just play three Cavaliers. But maybe it is just kind of Dread Presence. Dread Presence doesn't match up against Reed's creatures and. All right, let's try this. With the three three body, like the three three body and the two damage, don't don't really line up too well in this this matchup here. Uh, no idea, Igrok. All right, we at least we at least have three three lands where we get to play a Yara on turn three. This time instead of later. So maybe I should have played the other Legion's Ends. I should have all four Legion's End in in this matchup. Gilded Goose, Paradise Druid, Voracious Hydra. Ugh. The brambles of truth swirl and one bite, and all your cares are gone. Six loyalty. Quite the nibble. It's like unkillable. Yeah, I can steal. Yeah, minus five. Can it can trade the food for a Yara? Oko's really, really good. <laughs> All right. I think that's what it. Kind of learned so far. Oko is really, really good. We learn in these two games. I need to switch over to the fox. It's not for you. Hmm. 
gosh, they can just minus five Oko and take my wrinkle. I honestly just don't really have anything to do. I need to find like Noxious Grasp. Ugh. That minus five, being able to trade a treasure for Rankle is really rough. You are fouler than a fiend. That's true, I could have held up a, a Yara. If they go for the steal and just attack them. I didn't I guess I didn't quite consider that. That's true. Could have just had Rankle attack them. And then be able, be able to sack Burglar Rat there and, and held up a Yara. Where of course a Yara only sacrifices another black creature. So could still steal a Yara. Perfectly fine. All right, so yeah, um, you know, I kind of want to play Crafter to go with like the sacrifice theme of all these cards, but I will admit that, you know, like with what we're playing against here, with how good Oko is, and these, this does make, you know, I'd rather have Murderous Rider be able to kill Oko. So like this, um, you know, this would be a better time to have Murderous Rider. are exhausting. Because both of these games, I really, like, I feel just fine with with everything that, that Reed's played except for Oko. Like, both of these games, Oko is just dominated. If it has, if a, you know, like, that's, like, the, the Planeswalker here that is dominated. Um, like, the creatures we would, we could have been just fine against with the different sacrifice effects, you know, if I would have been able to attack them with. I assure you our deal is worth your while with a uh, wrinkle and everything. That's that's a good part about playing day 1, you know, like you know like this you know we're learning stuff about like what what we need to uh, what do we need to adapt to. I have, you know, I have three noxious grasps in here, which obviously noxious grasps would be a very good quality card to draw. You ever listen to the crickets? You're not scared of dogs, are you?
No, I'm not really beating Garrick. No. I did not wizard, no. Yeah, a Yara sacrificing wolves to draw cards. That's pretty cool. But yeah, this this match here, Murderous Rider would have been miles better than Playcrafter. So good to note. We'll play a little bit more, you know, here with the Playcrafter, but good chance that, that we'll make that trade. But, you know, we'll see. Let's see how sharp my axe is. Yeah, I, I agree. I wish there was a mass delete button for the old decks, but there's not. Oh dear. All right, GG's. Yeah, no, there's no no problems with the four color mana base. It was a perfect curve. You know, turn one goose, turn two Oko, and continuing on from there. Um, so yeah, no trouble with the four four color mana base there. Unfortunately for us. Did we see... What did we see for, for white in the deck? It's probably three mana to fairy. I guess. I don't, I don't think we saw a white card. Tulsimer? Tulsimer would make a lot of sense. To go along with Garrick. Tulsimer would make a lot of sense. Okay, I need to reset Arena to get extra XP stuff. Cool. So we need to draw one land... Or a three drop would be nice as well. Okay, three drop, we'll take it. Good card. So blood for bones. I was wondering if that make them discard a card was actually going to be bad for me with the blood for bones. Hey, Vitellius. ELD. It's going good so far. Yeah, it's our second four color deck. They didn't have black mana. <clears throat> I regret how I sideboarded that last match also, not, you know, not bring in the Legion's Ends. The extra legions ends for like gilded goose and stuff. Um, I assume that's what my my opponent is using green for like gilded goose, I guess. Because then they're playing blood for bones. They got to be playing cheap creatures, so probably playing mana creatures. So. 
Probably means I should be playing Legion's End. Like, all of that kind of checks out. Maybe I don't want a third command. I do want command. Trim one play crafter for Legion's End. I have enough three drops that I like. I don't. I don't really want Clockwork Servant. We have enough three drops here. Between Midnight Reaper, Ayara, Playcrafter. Definitely considering playing Midnight. Uh, uh, no, um, Murderous Rider instead of. Murderous Rider instead of. Um, Playcrafter, though, especially after that last game. So, of course, I want to try to play crafter this huge worm. That would be ideal. Do they just get rid of blood for bones and then not... Like, they're not going to just use... They don't have, like, another blood for bones to use? Alright, it's so gonna make them exile first. Getting rid of this thing so they can't just blood for bones that. Ugh, they hit the land. Alright, well, this is. Oh, thank you for attacking. With a rotting register. Wait, does that thing have... Tr that thing doesn't have trample? Oh, I should have chump blocked that. <laughs> I just kind of assumed that thing had trample. But I guess it doesn't actually have trample. Alright, I should have, I should have chump blocked that. Alright, that, that's my bad. Um... All right, yeah, I just I just quickly went I quickly uh just kind of went to blockers. I was so excited they that they attacked with the 76. That's kind of my bad. I'm leaving back this creature to be able to bl you know block if they if they draw another uh bond. Go to three. Probably. Yeah, yeah. Big dumb things usually have trample. Usually do, but I guess not this time. If I would have attacked for one last turn, we would have had lethal here, but... 
Oh well. I guess we still just have lethal. They just don't want to block. All right, Hawkeye, we're two and one. So I'm not. So I need to reset arena, huh? You know, I'm saying there's no quest quest thing happening right now, and I need to reset arena for a quest thing. Ugh, for XP. No, I don't think my opponent's deck plays any direct damage as far as I know of, but who knows? Maybe they do. Why does it say packs over here? Do I get a pack? I guess we got a pack somehow. Pack time. Fires of Invention. It's a cool rare. But of course, we need more mythics. Hawkeye, joining the stream. Yeah, I have two dogs. They they stay in the living room, though, because Hawkeye's scared of the dogs. What is this? Hawkeye's room here. Um, I mean, I like four lands, four lands, three spells, but, you know, we have two spells that are at the very top. Let's just try it. Yeah, most, a lot of the... Yeah, stream decker. Something's wrong with stream decker. A lot of the my a lot of the decks just went from sixty to fifty nine cards for some reason, or you know like fifty seven, fifty eight, fifty nine cards. I don't I don't know why. Um, I'll have to update it whenever we get there. Yeah, I like fires of invention there in Grixis. There's, you know, I like how you know with there's a lot of good fours there with like ritual of soot, and then obviously. Obviously, Fires with Drawn from Dreams is exactly where you want to be. We're going to try Fires with in Teamer, though. Um, I guess I guess that's tomorrow. I didn't write Teamer Invention up here. Um, I'm worried the Teamer doesn't have good enough removal, though. Kind of playing green for ramp. There. Wait, so they had exile removal and still use shock previously? So of course, if Cavalier of Night dies, we get Midnight Reaper back, but of course it could get exiled also. Oh, yeah, we forgot to grab the fox. At least by we, I mean me. Yep, I'm reckless and unpredictable. There's a storm coming your way. Uh, that's exile. Unfortunately. I like to draw a wrinkle or a play crafter. Or how about another swamp? No at work. Elko does not change CMCs. What's not to love? I'm brilliant, handsome, 
and totally electrifying. Yeah, they're they're probably playing a wilderness reclamation deck. Um, could 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 have fires of invention, I suppose, but it's probably wilderness reclamation. That would be my guess there. But we'll we'll see. We could really stop drawing lands here. I don't need nine lands. Forecast is cloudy with a high chance of me winning. We'll see if we get to scry any lands at the bottom. Alright, well I guess I get more information about my scry. If I could just distill lightning into a potion. <clears throat> would never sell. Darn, we would have scryed a land at the bottom and then drawn wrinkle. You already sick of Oko? Yeah, Oko looks incredible. That could be a meta warping card. Well, probably will be. Just gonna do each player discards. I'm really into current affairs. Huh. Yeah, because current electricity. I get it. Current affairs. We could do better, or sorry, we could do worse than Fenlurker with with all this mana. Fenlurker is a pretty big attacker. Yeah, I know you can choose three. I don't want it. I didn't want my opponent to be able to draw another card, and obviously, I don't want to sacrifice a creature. Hmm. You must be accompanied by a parent or guardian to ride the lightning. All right, so we should be able to get rid of both of their cards just fine. So let's go ahead and each player loses a life draw card. Because then we're going to Fen Lurker. And they, they could insight in response and draw two. But then we can also play Crafter and make them discard the last one as well. No, they're just going to exile this. Oh, it's just a shock. Um... Okay. So we have four, five, six, seven. All right, so this should be lethal. Because this deals one, make it six. And then this attacks for four, puts them down to two, and then we each lose a life draw card. Put them down to one, and then trigger Niv Mizzet, do one more. Lethal.
All right, so we got game one. Let's get all these duresses in here. Playcrafter was a little better than, just a, a slightly better than the other card, um, Murderous Rider there, to get, you know, where we don't have to cast an instant and let them draw a card whenever we kill Niv-Mizzet. Probably one Elder Spell. So I don't need these Legion's Ends. I'm not sure if I want to Command the Dread Horde and Blood for Bones too much. I want three Cavalier of Night. Let's play one Command. They're just going to have like their exile stuff though. Mm, no, Playcrafter's good. Let's just get all the Playcrafters in here. Oh, Orzhov Enforcer. Let's trim this card. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, let's trim Enforcer. All right, that works. Yeah, mono black. This is a this is a fun deck. I don't love having this command in our hand, but we'll take the duress into Fenlurker combo. Wow. They kept that card on top pretty quickly with the Temple Scry. They're trying to hit land drops to play Niv Mizzet. <laughs> we got. We have another. Another. Uh, <clears throat> if they think they, they have all these land drops to play Niv Mizzet, they got another thing coming. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. All right, we're just going to play Midnight Reaper here so we get to double spell next turn. Boo. Maybe I shouldn't have. All right, I'll, I'll fix that command. Hopefully that's fixed. Keep a Niv Mizzet. Saying no lands. We don't need no lands over here. Wrinkle! All right, what do they got? Three and one. All right. Don't forget the fox. Good call there, factory. Ooh, we got a new pack. We got some uncommons. Crack a pack. Get a mythic. Get a mythic. No. All right. So pet select. 
Oh, and now they did change it, so you can you can change your cat now. Cool. The Fay Fox. All right, we got our Bay Fox, and we're three and one. One more match here with Mono Black Value. There we go. Yeah, Mono Black taking down a Wilderness Reclamation deck. It's always a good sign for new standard there. Yeah, you can use the Brawl cards in standard. Unless something's broken with it. You're supposed to be able to. Let's give this a try. I wouldn't keep this on the draw. In our first two draw steps, we need to just draw a two drop or a three drop. Like in the top two cards, I want a two drop or a three drop. Something, you know, even if I'm playing a two drop on turn three, I don't mind it too much. I want to I want to play a two or a three drop by turn three and then lead into Rankle. Hey, what's up, Fox? All right, that was not that. Okay. So yeah, go Midnight Reaper into Rankle. Still pretty good. Guild Globe. So they have seven cards over there. I have four. I think let's just both draw a card. They already have tons of cards. And that does, you know, that does make them lose a life as well. So now they have nine. Yes, I understand that you can choose more than one option. Gosh, Doom Foretold so good. So obviously we're not doing each player sacrifice as a creature. Um, they're at seven right now. Do I want to just discard Cavalier of Night? Yeah, I can discard Cavalier of Night. I want the three drops so I can double spell. I want to be able to double spell with Midnight Reaper, Ayara. Uh, Throne of Eldraine is out today. This is the release day. You can play Throne of Eldraine now. New standard format. Right on schedule. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Hmm. Guild Globe with Doom Foretold is just awesome. Yeah, Doom Foretold is sweet. So 
So of course I could go Fenlurker, Blood for Bones, hit them, you know, attack them again. I think I want to do this first though. I'll have Midnight Reaper in play. They're down to four. They can, of course, have instant speed Kaya's Wrath I have to be worried about, though. I guess I gotta be worried about that. I have Doom Foretold in, like, different... Um... different sideboards that I've put together so far, but that's kind of about it. Alright, so of course I can't sacrifice something so they get this part. So we gotta discard a card. And lose two life, and then they get to draw a card, gain two life, and make a 2-2. Two -two. Tough call. It's a tough call of what to discard. Of vigilance, it does. So they're just going to trade anyway. Let's just draw our cards. I still have seven cards over there. <laughs> so many cards. Teferi's about to be able to minus. Uh, I was hoping they were not going to play another one of those. So they lose two life, but then they get to gain two life back. So they're back to six, unfortunately. Mana. Alright, get rid of a couple of the cards in their hand. Put them down to four. You know, if they don't get to gain life, maybe our Rankle gets to kill them. Ugh. That's a very good gain life spell. Now 
Never run out of those. I've got it. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna make him discard one of these. Trying to cut down on those millions of cards they had. Yeah, Rankle's been awesome for us. Yeah, Doom Foretold has been awesome for our opponent. A little surprised they sacrificed Othakaya over Guild Globe. That's likely likely the reason to do that is if you have another Oath of Kaya, because Teferi bouncing Oath of Kaya to kill Rankle is a thing they could have done, but they can also just do that. Now Doom for Toll kills Rankle. Wow, willing to go down to two. What do they need eight mana for? What's up, Grandoff? Ah, dance. So now there's three Doom Foretolds. We get to gain six life. I, disc I discard three cards. They draw three cards. Make three more 2-2s. Two -twos. Game. All right, so let's play these duresses. Play command. Get rid of these things. Get rid of those. Don't have any way to destroy enchantments in mono black here. I don't have Ugin. I mean, I have like the blast zone, I guess. It's not much. They probably just have little Teferi. Like, I don't know if I need Noxious Grass for that. I wouldn't mind having a Cavalier of Night or two in my deck to be able to, like, you know, we sacrifice Cavalier of Night, we get back a three drop. I wouldn't mind that. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to play that. Maybe I'm supposed to take out the... Maybe I'm supposed to play that over the um, Blood for Bones. Yeah, I mean, question is, do do I think is it will be playable in the new set? I don't, I don't know why it wouldn't be. I mean, everything was playable last last set. I don't really expect that to change. I mean, it it kind of. I guess it matters like what how you you know what your definition of playable is also, but. Is it can, can do a lot of different things. So just saying like the color, you know, just the blue and red together i mean that could mean tons of different decks so I, don't, I don't really know how an answer to that question could be anything but yes Known for my 
excellent timing. I've got time. So the problem with double spelling here and just playing Orzhov Enfor Enforcer and Urox Fenlurker is that it's only a matter it allows Akaya's Wrath to come down and, and destroy all my creatures. Maybe I should have just played Fenlurker on turn three uh, because that's better against Teferi and Oath of Kaya than playing Midnight Reaper right away. But I need to have Midnight Reaper in play before Kaya's Wrath or Doom Foretold. That was a really good draw for them. The Guild Globe gives them another permanent to sacrifice with Doom Foretold. That was a good draw. And still, you know, be able to play Teferi, of course. Trust me. You'll thank Obviously, you. I really want to draw land. I'll protect you. No, are you kidding me? I'm choosing to sacrifice the thing, not activate it. Ugh. What a mess. This is hardly my worst defeat. What a mess. Well, that's really unfortunate. There you go. Nice, Matthew. Uh, yeah, I haven't I haven't put together another a new Soul Tie version of Agent of Treachery yet with a new set. You know, that's it's definitely on my list to get to, but um, I, I haven't yet. Losing Chupacabra really really hurts that deck. Uh, it doesn't have great ETB removal to to really uh, use with. Um, use with your rock and stuff. No, oh my gosh! I can't believe I just did that again. Uh, this is just killing me. This is just actually killing me. <laughs> if we command the Dreadhorde here, like the game's over. <laughs> uh,. How does this happen? How do I do that again? This pops up, Doom Foretold. Uh. All right, so I'm at 16. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go down to six. This isn't a fight you can win. Here we go. So definitely getting a Yara in play to start gaining life. I guess that means I'm also playing Orzhov Enforcer again, gain another life. No, I am not making this up as I go. Right. 
Rankle is awesome. If, if you don't like Rankle, you've not seen the card in action at all. Let's go with this. Yes, Legion's End is absolutely still relevant to the new format. Is it almost as good as Ravager? Like Ravager Worm? Nicol Bolas the Ravager? It's different. You want to be more aggressive with Nicol Bol or with Ravager, where you want to be more control with Nicol Bolas. They're they're kind of different cards. Um, Nicol Bolas the Ravager isn't just automatically better. Um, Rankles, right? You know, same same kind of power level type card. It's pretty close, but they're they're different. Not really an ideal hand. Um, do I want Blast Zone? Like, Blast Zone can, like, blow up Doom Foretold. It's very slowly, though. I'm going to put it down at the bottom. I want to keep the three black sources in case we have a Yara, which I guess this is going to come into play tapped unless we have a third Swamp anyway. So maybe I should have put Witch's Cottage. and Because... I don't get to go turn three play crafter right now. Yeah, there's definitely synergy between Ayara and Dreadhorde Invasion. It is very slow. Um, but yeah, there's there's absolutely synergy there. Yeah, they, they work very well together. I don't think that should be like you can just put those two in you know in a deck. I don't think that has to be like the the main focus of the deck or anything. Um, honestly, maybe instead of playing the Orzhov Enforcers, I should have Dreadhorde Invasions in here. I don't know, like Dreadhorde Invasion is fine. Um, so Play Crafter is just. Three mana, make them discard a card. I don't... Basically get rid of a land. Basically stone raining. If we had Murderous Rider instead of Playcrafter, I could just play Murderous Rider. I suppose. And just have a 2 3. Does Cauldron Familiar have a home in a Rakdos Aristocrat deck? That's the 1-1. One, one. And then you use Witch's Oven for food. It's, it's all pretty cute. It does have, like, yeah, some synergy with Chandra and Mayhem Devil, but I don't love it because they're just pretty weak cards that unless you have, like, all that synergy stuff going, they're really not helping you too much. It's possible. I'm not ruling it out, but I'm just saying I don't love it. Yeah, monocolor decks have a chance this season. Yep, absolutely. Absolutely. Why not duress? Because my opponent just has one card in hand. I 
I'd rather save the duress. Because well, now they have two. I'd rather save it and be able to, you know, draw a threat and be able to protect the threat from removal spell at the time. Now, then they just had two cards, you know, one that they just drew off of the Doom Foretold, so maybe we could take, like, a Teferi or something. But, like, their cards are all going to be removal. And so might as well give them some more draw steps so that we have a, we have a better duress whenever they have more cards for us to choose from. We're more likely to get a hit that we want. If I would have cast that earlier, we would have just grabbed the Kaya's Wrath. But now we got that Dance with the Mans. Wow. That's rough. Yay. Stop. All right, this guy to the top also. All right, let's just get rid of this two two. more damage we take, the worse a command the Dread Horde is whenever we top deck it. Okay, so just Othakaya. I was worried about... I was worried about Doom Foretold. Doom Foretold was a great draw for them. This game is definitely favoring my opponent with these life totals. They're basically just looking for a dance with a manse. And they're going to just take over. We just keep bricking over here. Haven't really drawn an impactful card in a really long time. Or all game. The 
They keep ripping Doom for Tolds. No Ayara, no Rankle, no Midnight Reaper, no Command the Dreadhorde. I mean, I should just play the Swamp. I'm discarding it. We finally got that. Unfortunately, they, they did scry this card at the top, so we know that they have a good card in hand, so it's probably a removal spell. I, obviously, I hope not. I really hope that Ayara gets to hold the fort against these two twos. Because, yeah, the uh, scry top was a removal spell. So many lands over here. We saw one Ayara as far as like three plus mana cards that are our card advantage cards in the whole game. And they drew, you know, either three or maybe all four Doom Foretolds and grinded us down. All right, so we went 3-2 with mono black value. Disappointing end to that, that last game. The... The Playcrafters honestly didn't really look that great. Um, you know, maybe, we, like, so next time we play the deck, we may try out Midnight Reapers in, or, like, a Murderous Rider instead. Because, honestly, you know, I was, you know, I want, like, the Playcrafters, like, with, like, the sacrifice theme that we have going on here and everything. Like, I think they work well with a lot of the cards. But I honestly think that, uh, like, they, they weren't really that good for us. So I honestly want to try, like, Murderous Riders instead. So we'll we'll try that. Um, you know, next time. And, you know, then we'll kind of see if we like Murderous Rider. Maybe maybe it'll end up being that we want a a combination of... Oh, man, we have three Dread Presents, too? So, yeah, we just... We didn't... We couldn't find any Ayara, Midnight Reaper, Dread Presents, Rankle, Command the Dread Horde that last game. We didn't see any of those cards. Man, Dread Presents would have been awesome. Yeah, Dread Presents would have been... Would have been, would have been awesome. Yes, Ryder is better in a vacuum. Yes, but in this specific shell, I'm not. I'm not convinced the Ryder is better necessarily. So y'all, yeah. See, like when you you guys are saying that Ryder is definitely better, you're not. You're not thinking about the the context of the deck as a whole. However. With that being said, there were times that there was a specific Planeswalker, like an Oko, um, that we couldn't really deal with, that Playcrafter would just make them sacrifice like a mana creature kind of thing. But the 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 resource denial asp aspect of this deck, Playcrafter works really well with. And Playcrafter works really well with Cavalier of Night. Same with like Blood for Bones, Command the Dread Horde where Murderous Rider doesn't. You know, when Murderous Rider dies, it goes down to the bottom. You know, like, we don't get to get... You know, it's not something we grab back with Cavalier of Night and, and stuff like that. Um, and so, yeah, I could see I could sp see splitting Rider and Playcrafter up for sure. Because, um, yeah, like, this, this two life is going to hurt. And then, you know, when you start adding on, like, the life from Midnight Reaper, the life from Murderous Rider when you're trying to cast Command, the two life's going to hurt. Um, but I want to... Next time we play the deck, I just want to try four riders. You know, like we just tried four playcrafters. I want to try four riders just so we have a better chance of drawing more of them kind of thing. And then, you know, after that, then we can kind of see where we want to go. As far as Commander Dread Hordes, they were, they were fine. They were fine. I, I think, um, I think that's kind of it. I think they were fine, but they weren't super spectacular. I want to go one command, one Liliana. Basically, I want to go with the Liliana. The Cavalier of Night was not great. I could see maybe playing another Liliana instead of the Cavalier of Night, maybe. But yeah, I, I want to play Liliana um, in here as something that we don't really need. The Blood for Bones was 
was cute, but wasn't wasn't amazing. But it was cute. It's possible the blood for bones can be replaced with something else as well. Yeah, Doom Whisperer can be a good one. I could see playing a Doom Whisperer here over like over one of the two Cavaliers or over the Blood for Bones. You know, like that's that's the thing. Our, our deck's not going to be perfect day one. Like there's there's a lot of like small card choices like this that we, that we need to iron out, and that's going to be kind of the, the case with all the decks today. But you know, it's good good uh, playing games, good discussion, all that kind of stuff. Um, that is true. We didn't play a lot of aggro, and that's where Cavalier of Knights really going to shine. Exactly that four or five life link body, really going to shine against aggro. We didn't play against a lot, so. But yeah, I want to take out one command and get a Liliana in here, also. All right, so that's Mono Black Value, pretty pretty fun looking deck here. I'm, I'm uh, excited to to play it again in the future. Um. But uh, yeah, so if you're watching the video later on YouTube, like always, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. Let me know what you think about the deck. Let me know what you think about Throne of Eldraine standard so far. But until then, I'll see you for the next video. Got a bunch of them coming up here. Um, so make sure you check out all these other cool decks as well. Thanks for watching. See you for the next video.